it's the Monday morning after you've won the election. You're sitting there, and there's the telephone. You want to change the way things have been. What's, who's, who are you going to make that first call to? I made a pledge very early on, and you might think this is funny, but I uh, am one of the many Aucklanders stung in this bus lane scam. Mm. I got sprung on Grafton Bridge. And it seems to me that this is just blatant extortion. Mm. That money doesn't belong to the local government. And so I'm going to get on the phone and organise a refund for all of those people who had the money stolen off them in this shameful bit of, bit of local body <laughs> history. This is just extortion. You can't, you can't run on a platform that mm. says, I kept rates down, if you're secretly <laughs> extorting <laughs> money. through a backdoor tax in this yeah. other way. Yeah. I, I mean, it erodes trust in... in in the in the mayor, the mayor, the mayoralty, the office of the mayor, local government, it does none of us a, a service, and it, it, it really is, you know, we talk about Auckland, and the thing that gets me, and I know this from from working in the arts, from working in theatre, it's not so much. Auckland will always be a beautiful city because it, it is built on a beautiful isthmus. Uh, it's the potential that is the thing which I'm interested in, maximising Auckland's potential. And I see missed opportunities, and I think that as we, the, the best uh, example of this is the debacle of the Rugby World Cup. Now, with, with this party central, and now how, how hard can it be? <laughs> yeah. And in front of the eyes of the world, it just Auckland cannot get its act together. And this is this is why I put my hand up. Yeah. Because I, 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 we'd never get a play on at Auckland Theatre Company if we acted in this way. This is, this is childish and unprofessional, and it does nobody a service, and I think that the people of Auckland deserve better. Mm. How do you see the waterfront? I mean, that's what everybody likes to think is going to open up. Well, um, I have to hand it to the Australians, to, to our, our brothers and sisters in Sydney. Um, the Sydney Theatre Company is based on uh, the upper harbour side of the Harbour Bridge, on this beautiful wharf. It's been totally... Uh, built on this, it's got a fantastic restaurant at the end. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you go to the other side of the Harbour Bridge, uh, you have the Sydney Opera House sitting yeah. there, which has another drama theatre in there. So at half time, the doors open and you stand out there and you are right on the harbour, enjoying the harbour and enjoying art at the same time. Now, it has frustrated me all my adult life that in this perhaps the most beautiful harbour city in the world, uh, we as Aucklanders have not had access to the waterfront. Mm -hmm. Now. I think that, and again, this is something that I know from directing, you play to your strengths. Yeah. And one of our strengths is, our, is the natural beauty of our waterfront and of opening that up in a, in a designed way, not in a, um, a, a piecemeal back, back of a napkin way. The opportunity down there is extraordinary, and I, I, I guess I'm not talking necessarily about a, a Sydney Opera House type thing. I think that that's not what we're interested mm. in. We've got Rangitoto, you know. <laughs> we don't need to really go in investing in iconic buildings. We have Auckland's icon sitting right out there. But I guess open spaces for the public to enjoy. I would look perhaps at, um, uh, we could do more for the arts in Auckland. And um, now that's where you're going to be very strong, aren't you? I well, mean, uh, I mean, this is your background. That's my, that, that is my background. Yeah. And one of the, uh, one of the uh, key roles of the mayor is of, of bringing the city together. Mm. We have, and I know this because I, I, I grew up through this myself, we have a very strong non-professional um, drama scene throughout Auckland, which leads into a very strong professional theatre scene. So I, I would look at promoting um, and, and pro providing support at, at a local level that mm. feeds into a supported professional level. And I see this applying for sports as well. Uh, is that we can all enjoy the fruits of, of, of the city's talent if we invest in it. And that's where I see it, it as an investment. You know, one, and one of the things which uh, I see as, as the mayor's job is we have a, a, a how, can I, how can I put it, a funding imbalance at the moment between the money which Wellington gives to Wellington and the money which Wellington gives to Auckland. And uh, as I, I think I might have mentioned before, while at Auckland Theatre Company, the money which I managed to extort from Wellington for Auckland's purposes was the sweetest money of all. <laughs> and to this extent, I think that the mayor is Auckland's advocate. Mm. And he must be able to stand up to whoever's in government. And that's why I think it's essential that he's not a national party candidate or a Labour Party candidate. He is Auckland's mayor, and he's there to put the case for Auckland. 
He serves Auckland's cause. Mm. His allegiance is to Auckland. Now these are all self-evident to me, you know, and, and for, for the others to try to claim I am, you know, I am addressing the, the National Party rally or I have all of the support of the Labour Party here, how can, how can, how can you expect to get us all on the same page? Because mm. if, if this election isn't seen as a victory for Auckland and all of Auckland, then I suspect that we will see not a, it won't be an, a, an easy ride for us at all, you know. What's the support being like so far? Well, the more people I meet, mm -hmm. it's to do with the, the mainstream media, I yeah. would like to, to submit, respectfully submit, <laughs> is that um, it's, it, the mainstream media can't get its head around the fact that this is the end of politics as usual in Auckland. This is, everything as it was before has gone with the wind. Mm -hmm. We have a new structure, and we're talking about profoundly new. This is a different way of doing business in Auckland. And, and it's normally when times have changed that the change does occur, isn't it? Exactly, yes. exactly. And uh, you know, I, this is, is the moment of maximum opportunity for Auckland. And I'm not asking that everyone votes for me for all time, mm -hmm. just for the first time. Yeah. Because the first steps we take will determine our destiny, and they will set our course. And if those steps are not made for Auckland's sake, if they are made for a political cause or for some some other cause other than the greater good of the people of Auckland, then I think that this whole exercise has been an ex exercise in futility and in cynicism. And again, I think that the people of Auckland, they deserve the best. Mm. So what's your wish list? Ten things you'd like to do on that first day to get, get, to get the ball rolling. Well, I think that Auckland should be the first city of Pacific Asia. Mm. I think it should be a state-of-the-art city, more beautiful than Singapore, um, more modern than Singapore, more beautiful than yeah. San Francisco. Um, I think it should be a, a, a cosmopolitan capital, a tourist mecca. Yeah. Um, I think it should be an enlightened society. We enjoy the fourth highest standard li of living in the world. I think that we should enjoy the highest standard of living in the world and the highest quality of life. I think that we should be a cultural, creative, commercial hub of the Southern Hemisphere. That's the city that I want to live in. Now what about, what about asking the viewers of The Beat Goes On, if, if they can or if they want to help, how can they help Simon? I have a website, simonprast.com, S-I-M-O-N-P-R-A-S-T.com, let's just type that mm -hmm. in. It's got everything there, and probably more, that, any, <laughs> that you'd ever want to know about me. There is, a, um, you can uh, volunteer your services, you can make a financial donation if you wanted to. Uh, you can also contact me on Facebook. I've stepped into the 21st century. <laughs> I have a, a, the social media. I've just come from uh, uh, my second um, debate with the uh, other mayoral contenders. There was one we had at Unitech um, not so long ago, the first time I met them yeah. all. It was a very interesting experience. Tonight's one was on sport. Uh, again, a very interesting experience. And then uh, tomorrow night I am at the um, School of Architecture um, with just Mrs. Brown and Banks. Yeah. This time someone's made a decision that there's only going to be these three. Well, that's so good, isn't it? I yes. guess I, if, if, I was, if I was Mayor Williams, I'd, I'd be asking why. Or, but uh, <laughs> never mind, never mind. So um, if, if people would like to come along, you know, um, I, I think that seating is limited but, but do look. And um, I will post on my website, uh, I'm, I'm out in the markets, I've been out at the Otara markets, out at the Avondale markets, trying to get around as much as possible. Of course, I don't have the, um, um, the, the, the full-on army of supporters that the others, that have. The others have. So I'm, I'm a, a lean, mean machine. <laughs> Sometimes the best. Well, Simon, uh, you could be the dark horse. You could be the dark horse in this race. It's, uh, well, the I very think fact that they're now saying that it's only three, uh, Good on you. So I'm, I'm, we've got restrictions of time here. We could go for another hour, too. But I'm going to have to say, best of luck on the 9th of October, and uh, it could be you sitting in that big chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.